Hey folks, just in time for the kettle to be boiling. Yeah, that's done. So, where am I today then? Well, I paid for that mountain. There's another one, Ben Nevis. And, uh, this is where I am. My little back lane up from um, Fort William. Quite a few park ups along here. What I do is get to Fort William, look for the pylons, and follow them. But uh, today I'm concerned about this. I hit a deer hard, and uh, I think I'm kind of lucky. I've still got the bulb in the holder, but the lens was obliterated, as was the poor deer's head. And, uh, oh, crusty. Yeah, lost the cap of that. So, even though up here in the Highlands you keep your, well, any roads in Scotland really, you keep your speeds right down. But, uh, yeah, that was 35 miles an hour. Well, I was doing 50-ish, it'd be less than 50, I'm pretty certain of that. And then, um, yeah, out of nowhere, bang, just getting dark, so from now on up here, uh, as soon as it's getting dark, I should be pulling over until I know the deer have done their nighttime travel. They always seem to move at dusk and dawn. I don't know if you can see it, but... Many of those white dots up on the side of that mountain are rocks. And the smaller ones are the sheep. The erratics, I believe. The scary thing is, look at the, this lot here. That was all once up there. You can see where it's come down. But then again, I could be wrong, because when you look at this land, you can see the wave in the road. This is all glacial deposits. Moraine? Is it moraine they call it? But, uh, what else? Oh yeah, Mark. Mr. Crichton, if you're watching, you're absolutely correct. There's a passenger side wheel bearing that's on the way out. And I've also discovered that uh, it's the dry shaft, driver, driver side, dry shaft, intermediate bearing that's gone. But, I mean, gone isn't the bloody word, the noise it makes. Um, hoping it'll get me back all right. But uh, we will see. The one thing is the uh, wobble. There's a wobble that sets in after I've been driving for, driving over... 45 minutes at anything greater than 50 mile an hour and this wobble sets in and it's so bad I mean just it you know, just builds in slowly it feels like you've got a puncture or your tire has got a big bulge in it but um, oh, bloody lovely view but yeah I'm pretty sure that's the dry shaft uh, I'm pretty pretty certain I'm gonna replace both of them and both the wheel bearings Get it done already for winter. I'm talking of winter time. Wayne, if you're watching, I've got another job for you. <laughs> I've been having a look underneath. And that is. Can I focus? Yeah. So, as you can see, the whole seal has tried to fold up. So that's got to be done. And on this side, because this, this is a nice little piece of work that Wayne did. And that's fine. But up behind, if I do that, rust. So it's the same. The same part on both of them. Yeah. 
that rust. So both of them will have to be done. Well, uh, I think, judging by the state of these rust, I mean that's not, that's still solid. Still reasonably solid, but it's bubbling. So I think I'll get a pair of set of seals in. I mean, Wayne, if you don't want to do it, I'll do it. Let's just cut the bugger out and redo it. I'll do it, do it on both sides, and then it's done. Because as everyone knows, the price of vans at the moment, buying another one is not an option. That's uh. Anyway, that's enough of my waffle. All right, everyone. See you all in a bit. Bye.